As they say, the best laid plans of mice often go awry. Greetings, Dave here, DCBFX. This is just a quick little video on things that drive me a little crazy. Well, here we are, another day, another print job. But here's the thing, this is not the print job I wanted to be doing. Uh, what I'm doing right now is I'm making some helmet class for my friend Guillaume. He uses them in his Power Ranger helmets. Uh, it's a cool file he, well, there. He designed, it just goes inside the helmets and he's able to put big mags in. So rather than having a big class on that side, it's a nice cleaner look. It's not what I plan to be doing today. I am uh, working towards the Toronto Prop Expo, which is coming up soon. If you're in the area, make sure you drop by. It's a really cool event. There's lots of fun stuff and it's been two years since we've done it. So it definitely would be really, a lot of fun for uh, all of us. I'm really looking forward to it. Anyway, um, I've been tasked by John and Mike, they've asked me at least, to do a demo on, you know, the Delta Vega Props tricorder and building it. So I'm printing one. Well, I plan on printing one. Uh, new files have been done. Dino has uh, redesigned the file. So it just added a few little things that I found when I was building it. So, you know, make this a little bit thicker, change this, do that. So it all works out really well. So I had great plans to be printing that today to the point that I ordered more filament on Saturday and it's Amazon. So I figure, you know, it won't ship until Monday. It did. Prime, same day. 517, business is closed. Well, my hours are marked. It's coming from Vaughn. Vaughn is 40 minutes away from me. I can drive it in 40 minutes, but it takes them eight hours to get here. So hopefully I'll see that filament today or I guess I'm filming this on Tuesday for Wednesday. So hopefully I got it yesterday. I don't know. It is what it is. But that's really not the gist of this video today. This is what I'm doing. I'm just, I'm in the office doing stuff. It's just a little pet peeve of mine. As you have seen, I'm sure, on some of the videos, I fix computers. I fix Apple computers. What I'm seeing now, it's almost an endemic of Ah, that's the best way to put it, the under-knowledgeable. Now, these are great machines. These are expensive machines, but they're great machines. This is a MacBook Pro. This is probably retail for around $2,500. It's been dropped. No problem. Customer has AppleCare Plus. AppleCare Plus covers one instant of damage per year. So if you're looking at getting stuff for your device, if you get Apple Gear Plus, you get that one, you know, you add two more years to your warranty, you get one instant per year of damage. So you pour water in it, covered, depending on what's damaged, you know, you're paying a deductible of between $129 to $379. But still, considering what you're damaging are going to be seven, eight, nine hundred dollar parts, worth it. Here's the problem I have with it. Most people will run out and get Apple Care Plus and they'll get their machines and they'll go and they'll do everything. There's a small hiccup. Because these are expensive machines, Apple has done a great service for you. They've got things called Find My Mac, which means that if you lose it, you can find it. What it also means as a headache for service techs like me is if you don't turn it off, I can't order any parts. Basically, Apple is saying is, I don't know that you hadn't stole this machine. You're trying to work on it. So no. Turn this off and do it. Here's the problem I have with that. For some reason in this day and age, people just forget what they do and how they do it. This is not the first machine I've had where I can, okay, find my Mac is on, turn it off. How do I do that? iCloud.com, find the device, remove it. It's not there. What Apple ID did you use? This is the one I only use. It's not there. Well, now what? Well, now I can't do anything. Even better, here's my Apple ID. Log in and you take care of it. Well, these geniuses have also turned on two-factor authentication. I log in. They have to call me with a code that shows up on their phone. Do you think they can figure out how to do that? No, they can't. So 
these things are the bane of my existence. I would love to just fix the machine. It's been dropped. It needs a new screen. No problem. Easily done. I did it for you quickly. 129 plus tax, 145.77. Yes, I do this a lot. I know what the prices are with tax. But if you can't do this, I can't do it. So I've tried a couple times and the kid doesn't even... Like, dude, I need the six-digit code to log into your account. It's not there. What'd you use? Well, it's the only one used. No, it isn't. It's logged to something else. So, that's just a little rant right now. I just, I'm seeing this a lot. People, and another pet peeve of mine. Here's my password. That's not it. No, no, it's my password. It doesn't work. Oh, it's this. And I'll try permutations. If you say it's Butterfly Daisy... I'll try capital B, capital D. I'll try a couple of things. I'll put a one, I'll put a zero, you know, all these things. Oh, sorry, it was Caterpillar Moss. Not even close. Like, how do you not know the own password? You own password to your computer. I just, anyway, I guess it's now at the point, because my wife said to me the other day, hey, welcome to 55. You can see your discount now. Maybe I'm just becoming a cranky old man. And I don't feel like a senior. As I'm looking at the video, though, with all this white here. I look like one, but anyway, I just, my sort of, I'm not even a rant, just a little talk about things. If you're going to be, you know, out there using your Apple product and you have all these things and you turn on all these things, write them down somewhere. So someone like me, when you inevitably break it, can fix it for you. This has been here for three weeks and we tried every number of things. Nope, 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 nope. Oh, well. So that's my little rant for today. Hope everyone's having a great day. We'll talk to you all later.